this would be 1973. So, have we had Tom Baker yet? No. no it was Pe John Pertney's last season. That's right, because it was John Pertney who was the doctor when I played a character called Butler. And I can remember my agent saying to me, because uh, um, I wanted to do a Doctor, because the children said, Daddy, can you be in Doctor Who? As if I could wave a magic wand, but um, uh, I managed to get this part. But, and then it was the part of Butler. And I said, I think we have to give him a Christian name, because I don't want them thinking you're playing the Butler. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's very good. went on to do Jesus. Yes, I did. <laughs> Yes, I did Jeeves, I did Jeeves on Broadway, and uh, that was quite fun. I'll just tell you this story. Um, you know this thing about mobile phones now and actors all, all the time? It's a great problem in audiences. But I've just thought, I've got my mobile phone on, so it rings me now. Um, I say, I can't, I can't speak, I'm on screen. <laughs> this happened uh, when we were at the, uh, the Helen Hayes Theatre um, on Broadway. My lovely colleague playing Bertie Worcester, I was playing Jeeves, um, on a Saturday night, very fidgety, um, uh, as Saturday nights are in the theatre in America, in London, oh. in Rem, and for some reason a Saturday night is always a difficult performance for the actors, the audience seem very fidgety, and um, uh, suddenly uh, in a scene, in a lot of coughing <coughs> in the audience, and suddenly a mobile phone, or as they say in America, cell phone, goes off, and I heard John say to me, I say, Jeeves, did I hear a cell phone? <laughs> <laughs> Which got this huge laugh. It was absolutely great. And I heard myself say, I hardly think so, so they haven't been invented yet. <laughs>
Uh, you may remember aspects of the uh, episodes more than I do, but it seemed to me that it was a parody on, uh, on the idea that people who watch television have the power, and you press the red button if you want to vote this way or the blue button. Oh, yeah, and uh, that was what happened, and the governor uh, is voted in or out uh, or by them pressing buttons, and he's in an electric chair, a torture chair. And it was, there were questions asked in the house about this episode, I remember Philip Martin's episodes, and um, uh, was this suitable fare for children? Well, um, I don't know the Doctor Who is for children, I think it's for everybody, but there was still a feeling that this was a children's Saturday night. Early, uh, late afternoon and early evening. Um, and there was also, J Jason Connery was also in the episode, and there was a, a part of it where he was going to be hung, and there was a noose there, and it was quite dangerous, and I don't think it's ever been repeated. It's on video, it's it's on DVD. I don't think it has been. Because um, uh, the BBC were wrapped on the knuckles for uh, this dangerous, but there was a really good script. I mean, I was trying to talk about TV violence within the script as well. You know, it so was actually yeah. saying how, di how what a difficult society we are entering. Brilliant, really prophetic script. And the Doctor Who there was my old uh, friend Colin Baker, um, who uh, played Laertes when I played Hammond. And he cut, I've still got the scar. You know, that fight scene, he gave me a real cut. Um, <laughs> but we would, we've been good friends for however many years it is, and it was great to see him also eccentric, but in a different way from Tom Baker. Uh, and so that was my last, except for the Robert Shearman. I think I did a, one of the radio, one of the audio. Jubilee, which then the introduction of the Daleks into the news, it was, yes. it was based on that. So it was, yes. So, uh, 